Um, we, and then when you please, when you come up, you'll have two minutes, and if you could just give your name and address. And, and since you're new to our meetings, just so you know, we don't respond to you per our ordinance. We, we can't, but please feel free. Right here? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Thank you. I know we're a little out of, out of jurisdiction, but we're, we're bringing this over to you all tonight. Uh, good evening, folks. Uh, my name is Evan Martin. I'm a resident of Peachtree City. I live at 400 Sandown Drive. Um, I'm one of several property owners and parents concerned about spot redistricting measures proposed by the Board of Education for South McIntosh Trails, 31 Huddleston Elementary School students. Specifically, the current Booth McIntosh attendance zone is a long-term concern according to a January 26 memorandum provided to us by the Board of Education. The proposal has raised some specific questions. Growth factors. Specifically, several subdivisions in the West Village are mentioned as a concern in the board's February 16, 2016 notes. Further, we were told a West Village development districting plan was clarified some time ago and that specific elements were discussed and clarification was communicated to developers. The east side of McDuck Parkway enrollment would be addressed by Kedron Elementary and possibly Peachtree City Elementary as well as Crabapple with Booth and McIntosh High School continuing to serve the upper grade feeder pattern while the west side of the development would go to Birch, Flat Rock, and Sandy Creek High School. We still don't know exactly what is meant by the east side of McDuck Parkway and the west side of the development, and we meticulously sifted through pages of archive board minutes and have not been able to find specifics on a districting plan for the West Village. But on Monday night, we were told specifically that the Everton Sliver, with an estimated 200 new homes, would be districted into the Booth McIntosh district. We cannot help but conclude that our neighborhood, accommodating a mere 31 students at Huddleston Elementary, is being pushed aside to make room for anticipated growth in the West Village. And that's a neighborhood that's been districted, Huddleston, Booth, and McIntosh, since it was built over 30 years ago. And we just wanted to bring that up tonight. Thank you. Hi, my name is um, Christy Daniel. I live at 103 Manhattan, from Sandown Creek. Um, and I'm just going to piece it off of what he said. You know, we, we just discovered this two and a half weeks ago, and it was absolutely broke our hearts. I am a 30 year existing resident. I purchased my home in Sandown Creek in 2011. When my oldest daughter was two and a half, and my youngest was ten days old, specifically for these schools. Um, I've, I've attended Huddleston, Oak Grove, Food, Whitewater Middle School, I'm a 98 graduate of Macintosh. My husband is a 96 graduate of Macintosh. And to hear that we are literally being pushed out of the district for new developments, hypothetical students that don't even exist in homes that haven't even been built yet, and yet we purchased our homes specifically for those school districts as well. My question is, when do citizens that have lived here forever, when, when do families that are already in existence, that are in established neighborhoods, that have established friendships and relationships with their teachers, that have, my daughter is in second grade, my youngest is in kindergarten, when do we come before new developments? When do we come before as developers that honestly, you know the reason that they want Booth and Macintosh is for higher home values. That, that's a given. Um, Peachtree City is such a special community to me. I, I walk into Huddleston and it's like going to a high school reunion. I don't know very many towns where you can walk into your child's elementary school and would know everyone and see people that you graduated from high school with 20 years ago because we have all moved back to this community to raise our children in the same community that we grew up in. I've never even seen the high schools that my parents went to. I've never even seen the towns they grew up in. And I'm raising my children a mile from where I grew up. I want to know when we come first. And to me, it just it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't make sense that we're getting pushed out for hypothetical students in, in developments that, like I said, have not even been built. It's just- Your time has expired. Thank you. <laughs> Juanita Herrera, and 
I live at 214 Garrett Ridge in Sandown Subdivision. I have, <coughs> I'm here mainly for my, myself and my, my husband, as well as my grandchildren who also live in the sub, same subdivision. Currently, they can walk to school if they want. They can uh, ride bikes to school, um, going, because uh, we live less than a mile away. Um, they, um, Oak Grove is almost two miles. Uh, if they want to ride golf carts when they get to middle school and high school, it's going to take hours to get there from our subdivision. We, um, we feel like we're being, there, there's something that they're not telling us is the real reason for this move. Okay, And again, just as Christy said, we've been here a long time. We bought for these schools. Why do we? It's just this, and I know it's just a handful. Maybe they think it's it's an easy, easy thing, but uh, it means a lot to us that our kids remain where they are. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any agenda? Yes, ma'am.